Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably freaking out with uh, the, uh, the title of this video, Should Olimata Be Traded? Now, again, this is just a discussion video, not, uh, not me saying why Olimata should be traded. This is just asking the question, and I'll give you my reasons why in this video. So I'm sure all of you guys heard Olimata was a healthy scratch yesterday. He hasn't been a healthy scratch since a rookie, so the fact that they just scratched him without him being injured or anything, you know, it's kind of big news. And obviously, coming in for Olimata, another Finnish defenseman, Yuso Ricola, who played his first NHL game. And in my opinion, Yuso Ricola came in and played absolutely incredible. For his first NHL game, I think he was outstanding. He's such a smart hockey player, though. You know, being a rookie, first NHL game, you think he'd be a little nervous, make some mistakes. But it looked like he was a veteran out there. He didn't make no mistakes. The way he was playing, his skating is beautiful. Uh, everything he was doing, from his hitting to everything, was good. He just looked like a really good defenseman out there. And now this is where we get into the whole topic should the penguins trade olimata no i don't think the penguins should trade olimata not just yet now i know that probably freaks some people out because uh, i know olimata it's really weird with him you have the people that love him and think he's the best and then you have the people that hate him and think he's the worst now i'm in the middle i don't i never hated olimata I, I was the guy always defending olimata every time people were like trade him scratch him he's trash whatever i was always like no he's never gonna get out of the lineup you know, he's one of our defensemen, you know, he's good, he's not going to get traded. But that was before he was a healthy scratch, and Yusuf Ricola came in and played just as good, if not better. Now, at the end of the day, you know, we do get attached to these players, right? And we want to keep our favorite players in the team, and we don't think of what's best for the team, because, you know, we want to keep our favorite players on the team. The same thing goes for the whole flurry situation, you know, James Neal back in the day when he got traded. A lot of people talk out of emotion and not out of what's best for the team. And I do think if Ricola, you know, continues this and he's a good defenseman, I think Olimata, tr um, you know, trading him is not a bad idea. Now, number one, you save $4 million in cap space, which is huge for this team. And not only can you sign Jay Gensel in the summer, maybe, just maybe you can sign uh, Derek Broussard too. And in my opinion, if we do trade Olimata and we are able to sign uh, Derek Broussard and Jay Gensel, both of them, that's a win. I don't care what we get back. That's a that trade's gonna be a win because when we made that trade for Derek Broussard, I thought he was gonna leave for sure. And trading Olimata gives us the chance to resign him. Not only do I think we win the Olimata trade, I think the Derek Broussard trade looks a lot better. Now I know a lot of you guys are like, well, what? Why are we already talking about trading Olimata? Yo, it's too soon. It's been what three games? I know. Like this hasn't been a rumor. No one has. This is just me like giving the idea. Yo, this is not a a thing that's been talked about. I don't think he will be traded. I'm just giving the question to you guys if you guys think. Trading Olimata would be smart. Like I said, all these years, I never wanted Olimata traded, but he it may be what's best for the team. But if it does happen, it should not happen right now at all. If he does get traded, there's two times where you trade him. At the deadline or in the draft. One of those two. Because you can never be too sure. Because with Olimata, you know what you have in him. You know what you have. You've seen him. You want two cups with him. You know what you have in him. And Yusuf Ricola, I do think he'll be great and he might just be getting better as he gets more comfortable. But you still don't know what you have in him. He could be really good, and then come playoff time, he chokes, or he's really not that good, he makes mistakes. You know, where we know what Olimata is, maybe you want to hold on to him. So that's why I'm saying wait until the deadline, test this out, see how Ricola is doing, or if you want, keep Olimata for the cup run, and then you can maybe you know, let him go in the draft or something, try and get something back. Now, this leads me to my next idea, which I actually tweeted last night uh, during the game, and it's a little bit of a weird idea, but I think it could work out. So the Penguins have eight defensemen in the NHL, right? Eight NHL-ready defensemen, and that's obviously the top six they have right now, including Ricola and Ruido. Those are the eight guys that are NHL quality defensemen. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but like, for example, let's say it's a back-to-back -back or three games in four nights. Like game number one, you play your top six and the bottom pair being Ricola and uh, Olimata. That's the bottom pair, right? And the guy who's a healthy scratch is Oleksiak. Then maybe in the next game, you can put in Oleksiak back in and then maybe put in Ruido, take out Jack Johnson or something. Like, you get what I'm saying? And it's regardless if they're playing bad or not. It just take the rest. And while we're doing a second night of a back-to-back, Pretty much everyone's tired. It's nice to get a couple fresh bodies in there. Now, that's just an idea I threw out there. I don't know if it's a good one. Uh, you guys, that's where I want you guys to comment uh, your thoughts. Do you think that would benefit or would it hurt the team? Uh, I think it just would be better for uh, just to keep everyone freshed up, you know, for the playoffs. But at the same time, it may be a little bit weird because everyone's playing with a different partner, you know, most of the time. I don't know, just an idea. Let me know what you guys think about that. Now, just to wrap it up, I think Olimata should not be traded yet, like I said. Uh, I think, but playing him as a seventh defenseman is not worth it because he makes $4 million. It's either you trade him or you play him, not use him as a seventh defenseman. Now, I know what a lot of you guys think, you know, he's slow. Who would want a slow defenseman, you know? But that's not what teams see. Teams don't see Olimata being a bad defenseman. They see him as a young 24-year-old who has 
experience, not just any experience, two Stanley Cups experience. No, find me another 24 year old defenseman who has that. I don't think there is anyone out there. I think there would be a market for Olimata. A team like Montreal, who needs defense, can come in their lineup right now and could be part of the future. And he's already their probably second best defenseman right now. So you would get a bigger role. Another team, you know, the Senators, that team makes sense. You know, uh, they just lost Carlson. Olimata would probably be their second best defenseman behind uh, Thomas Shabbat. You know, maybe a team like the Canucks, you know, maybe a team like the Oilers. There is plenty of teams who I think would love to take Olimata on their team. Uh, like I said, he's not just a slow defenseman. He's a smart defenseman who has experience and he's still young. Usually teams trade for the, you know, veteran defenseman at the deadline, the guy with the NHL experience, but Olimata has that experience and being 24 years old. Like that's a, a rare thing, a young defenseman having experience. Teams would really pay a lot for that. Now, I don't think the Penguins would get a steal for Olimata, like a bunch of first round picks and you know, a bunch of prospects. But I do think he is tradable and I do think the Penguins could get a good return, maybe like a prospect and a couple picks, like a, I don't know, like not a crazy prospect, but a, you know, future top nine guy, maybe top six uh, you know, forward with maybe a third and a fifth round pick or something like that, you know what I mean? Or maybe even more, like I said, teams would pay for a young defenseman who is, who would help you win now, help you win in the future, and already has two cups under his name, which is crazy to think about. You know, that's teams would really pay a lot for that. Now that was just me saying if the Penguins were to trade Olimata, but again, like I said, I think for right now you don't trade him. Uh, it's only October, chill. This is just a discussion video, but I'm saying with Yusuf Ricola, how he's playing, if he continues to play like this and gets better, I think Olimata becomes, uh, you know tradable you you know you don't need to hold on to him and his four million dollar cap hit thank you guys so much for watching uh leave a like if you enjoyed and again uh i will be doing more of these discussion videos i just love doing stuff like this to you know get the people talking uh so i will be doing more of these type you know discussion type videos uh you know when on my instagram accounts uh, over the years i used to do a bunch of these discussion posts and i love doing them so you, you know expect the same thing here on the, the youtube channel so again you know leave a like if you enjoyed you know throw your thoughts in the comments because you know what's a discussion video with no comments so i want to hear what you guys have to say uh, do you think the penguins should you know trade olimata hold on to him you know what do you think uh, what would you do if you were mike sullivan and jim rutherford so i look forward to see what you guys think about this and i will see you guys in the next video